All right, here's part two of the Managing Your Inbox series that I've made for this tech tip. So this one, I'm going to go more into detail on filters and labels so that you can have different categories in your inbox and keep everything in order. All right, let's get it. So the next thing I'm going to cover is how to create filters. So this would be cases where you're trying to filter everything that has the same subject line into one label or everything that has uh, the same students into one label, those kinds of things. So in my fictional inbox here, I have a W101 course that I can see Ron and Madeline have been sending emails to. So I'm going to create a W101 filter. So clicking on my settings, I'm entering my settings area, filters, and blocked addresses. Scrolling down to the bottom where I can see that I have the option to create a new filter. And then I'm going to use subject line W101. I'm going to click Create Filter, and then once it's been created, I'm going to add a label to it. So I can choose a label that I already have, or I can click New Label, and I can just call that W101, or I can be more specific. I could do Spring 2020 W101. Um, I could even set date parameters on it if I wanted to, so I'm just going to do regular W101 for now and hit create. The question down here is, do I want to apply it to the 41 matching conversations that are already in my email? I'm going to say yes to that. If you're setting up a filter for a class that's starting in the fall, you could always set date parameters or you could just turn it on after the spring semester is over and then don't apply it to your existing ones. So it would just grab the ones moving forward. I'm going to click Create Filter. And now I can go over to my inbox and I can see this little W101 next to all the emails from Ron and from Madeline that have W101 in the subject line. So let me scroll down on the left bar. I'm over on my left side here. And I can see this W101 filter exists now, or sorry, this W101 label exists. So in this label, if I click those dots, or if I click on that label, it's going to only show me the ones in my inbox that have that W101. But what's even better is I can also click on those three dots and make them a specific color. So now, if I'm in my general inbox, I can see that these all have that label, and that's the color that I've chosen for that label, right? Notice how Madeline sent me a separate email but didn't include W101 in the title, so that's not grabbing that label, it just is there. Now let's say I actually wanted that to all filter out of my inbox and only be over here on my left side. I could change that in my settings and going to my filters, scrolling down to that W101. I could edit, so I'm editing the existing filter and clicking continue. And then I'm also going to go ahead and skip the inbox, okay? That just means it's not going to be in my main inbox view, but I'll still be able to access it from that label on my left there. So I'll update that filter. And now that my filter is updated, if I click on my inbox, I no longer see those emails in here. But over on the left, I can see W101, and I know there's 26, that 26 there, are my unread that have that label. And if I click it, they can all be over there, right? So that's a basic way to go ahead and set up labels and filters so that everything goes to those labels. Now let's say for example, down here, Madeline sent me one and it just says um, this W101 here and she put a space and in my filter, I didn't do spaces. I could just go ahead and drag that over and put it in that W101 and you see it moved over there. Or I could set up a second filter and I could also make everything with W space 101 filter over there. That would also be acceptable. You can do the same for people. So if I wanted to go into my settings, oops, create a filter, create a new filter, and I could say, um, I could say anything from Madeline 
is going to go to a new label, ETS Student Employees. I could hit Create. I can also go ahead and apply to the existing conversations. And I might want to keep that in my inbox. Hit Create. OK, there it goes. Now if I look at my inbox, I can see everything from Madeline has that label next to it. And I could make ETS Student Employees change my label color. So now I see that. OK, that was part two. Let's move on to part three, which is going to be about tasks and using Keep in the Google Gmail inbox.